Hello everyone, welcome to my class. Today we'll be discussing here Hatch and Slack pathway. Right? We'll be discussing Hatch and Slack pathway. Hatch and Slack pathway. Also called as C4 cycle. Okay, let's start C4 cycle. So C4 cycle, this is basically found in those plants which are found in the warmer areas or warmer parts, right? For example, this is basically the plants which shows this cycle is sugarcane, maize, euphorbia, euphorbia etc right so these plants actually those plants which are found in the warmer part of part they actually to protect themselves from photorespiration they undergo certain sort of modifications right so this process where modification is done to prevent photorespiration we studied this in c4 cycle right so this is basically why it is done this is undergone by the plants shown by the plants found in the found in the warmer region this is found in the shown by the plants which is found in the warmer region so this step is basically this step is basically what basically protection from photo respiration to protect themselves from photo respiration which is a wasteful process which deals with the unfixation of carbon dioxide already we have discussed photo respiration if you have any doubts you can check my previous lecture you will be getting it there right so this is basically a protection from photo respiration right so what are the action that it takes the plant undergo just just plant undergo plants to protect plants to protect themselves plants to protect themselves from from c2 cycle undergo certain modifications so to protect itself from this wasteful process they undergo certain kind of modifications so what are the kind of modifications the first modification and second modification right so what is the first modification it shows dimorphic chloroplast dimorphic chloroplast dimorphic chloroplast means what it has two chloroplast two kind of chloro two types of chloroplast one is your one is your granule and another is your a granule chloro Plast, right the a granule chloroplast one a granule chloroplast a granule chloroplast is found in vascular this a granule chloroplast cells are found in bundle sheet cells are found in bundle sheet cells right but these granule cells these granule cells they are they are found in this granule cell cells these are found in mesophyll cells right so how they look like is
so this part will be mesophyll and this part will be chloroplast right this part will be chloroplast so this sort of modifications they undergo now what is grenal grenal means if this is a grenal chloroplast here what happened this is individual this one individual alone it is known as thylakoid right this thylakoid when grouped together see this is a grouping of thylakoid right when this group together it is known as grena it is known as grena here also same thing here also same thing so this grenal chloroplast grenal and this is what we call stroma and this is what we call lamella right so this kind of uh, granul chloroplast are found in the mesophyll cells if we talk about a granul chloroplast a granul chloroplast is what a granul chloroplast do not have do not have thylakoid plus do not have thylakoid plus thylakoid plus grana right so this is the main reason for the agranal chloroplast right okay so this is what second modification what it undergone was cringe anatomy cringe anatomy cringe anatomy means what it is a wreath like arrangement cringe anatomy is basically it is wreath like arrangements right this is root like and root like means what they will arrange itself in a circular path they will be looking like this If you see this diagram, if you see this diagram, these are your mesophyll cells. Right? This is what we call. This is what we call. We called it mesophyll. cells right this is what we call mesophyll cells now this arrangement bundle sheet cells but with cranes anatomy cranes anatomy means what they arranged in a wreath like arrangement right now we will see the process how this okay let's move to the diagrammatic representation of the process process right so if we see this this is what this part we call it mesophyll cells mesophyll cells this part we call it mesophyll cells and this part we call it bundle sheet cells right now you know right what mesophyll cells contains granul chloroplast and here it contains a granul chloroplast right so here whenever carbon dioxide comes it reacts with water and form it form bicarbonate what it form it forms your bicarbonate right so this bicarbonate will change to your oxaloacetate which is a four carbon this oxaloacetate will change into malic acid right 
this malic acid enter your bundle sheet cells this malic acid and gets converted to pyruvate and gets converted to pyruvate this pyruvate will now form this with the utilization of ADP to ATP right and here during this malic acid when converted to carbon dioxide they will actually liberate carbon dioxide right and this carbon dioxide will react with rubisco and entire your c3 cycle will continue c3 cycle will continue right so this is the basic process and here two more enzymes i have to give you during bicarbonate to oxaloacetate here it forms fat carbo oxalate right now oxaloacetate to malic acid it form malate dehydrogenase right so this is the process clear everyone this what is this process this process is to protect plant is is to protect the plants from photorespiration this is seen in those plants which are found in the warmer areas right so this is basically kind of adaptations right if you have any query students you can mail me thank you for watching the sessions thank you so much and if you like the video hit like and subscribe sharing is caring afterwards right thank you bye bye take care good noon Good night sorry